One day, when Jesus arrived in the coast of Caesarea Philippe, he asked his disciples, Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said that some believe that he was John the Baptist. Some men believe that Jesus was Elias. Others believed he was Jeremiah or one of the other prophets. Jesus, being ever so humble, asked his disciples, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Do you realize how blessed you are when God reveals his word unto you? When you talk to God, talk to him with your spirit. No man and nobody needs to know the conversations that you have with our Heavenly Father. If you lack understanding when reading his word, humbly ask him to give you understanding. We are all on this earth for a season. You must obey God and follow his word so that you can spend eternity in paradise. If you choose to live a life of sin, you will spend eternity in hell. Jesus said, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea, Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He saith unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then charged he his disciples that they should tell no man that he was Jesus the Christ. From that time forth began Jesus to show unto his disciples how that he must go unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised again the third day. Then Peter took him and began to rebuke him, saying, be it far from thee, Lord, this shall not be unto thee. But he turned and said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan. Thou art an offense unto me, for thou savorest not the things that be of God, but those that be of men. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? 
or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. Verily I say unto you, there be some standing here which shall not taste of death till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. Matthew chapter 16 verses 13 through 28. Amen.